I'm down here at the New York Stock Exchange with the CEO of Copa Airlines, Pedro Heilbrunn. We were just talking, uh, Pedro, about the fact that it is difficult. I was just down in the Caribbean to get from island to island, to get from the islands to Latin America to South America. You guys are seeing incredible customer growth down there. So what you're saying is what we've done best for, for many years is bringing connectivity, world-class connectivity to smaller markets that before a Copa comes in are not connected to the rest of Latin America. And that's been uh, a very successful part of our business model. You, you, you just announced, I think, 29% uh, passenger growth in the last quarter. How do you explain that kind of growth and do you expect that pace to keep going? It's a combination of uh, Latin America doing very well. Most economies in Latin America are growing. It's also a factor of Panama growing even faster than the rest of Latin America. And Copa Airlines having a very successful business model serving uh, countries, cities that need our service. Pedro, it's Carol Master back here at the New York studio. Let me just jump in for a second. What's your ultimate goal here in terms of expansion? You're increasing some markets uh, with the United States. So what's the ultimate uh, end game here for you guys? Yeah, it's about building the most successful and the strongest uh, intra-America hub in Panama. Uh, we're growing over 20% this year. We're going to be adding seven new cities and additional frequencies. We're expanding the hub from four to six connecting banks. So, you know, we think this is going to keep on growing as, as we add more cities and we add more flights. We will bring a first world connectivity uh, throughout our region. You know, the expansion makes sense, obviously, given the customer growth, but at the same time, we're seeing jet fuel prices take off here, uh, pun intended. I mean, is, it, is that a concern? Jet fuel prices up 50%, I think, uh, over from a year ago. So is that a problem for you? Do you hedge that? How do you deal with that? Well, it's, 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 challenge. it's challenging. We hedge 25% uh, uh, of it, between 25 and 30%. But also with strong economies and growing markets, we've been able to increase our revenues to compensate for fuel. So it is a challenge, but we're dealing with it. What about the currency fluctuations? I mean, we often think of how that affects U.S. businesses abroad. How does that affect you guys? Well, we're, Panama is a dollar-based economy, but uh, most of our sales or revenues come from the rest of Latin America, uh, where st currencies have strengthened, and actually traveling on a dollar-based airline and going to dollar-based tourist destinations or business markets is becoming more affordable to most uh, passengers, most, citi mo most citizens in Latin America. So actually, that's having a positive effect. All right, hey, Pedro, thanks so much for joining us. Pedro Heilbronn there, CEO of Copa Airlines.